All right, this is chapter two, lesson two, patterns in the addition, patterns in the addition table. Okay, study the addition table for patterns. Okay, so if you see a uh, like a multiplication, uh, I mean addition table, and you see two, four, six, or or three, six, nine, those are patterns. Look at the set of numbers that follow a certain order. Look at the example that they give us. It says Danny colored a pattern of squares from left to right. Okay, on the from left to right on the diagonal, uh, yeah, on the downward diagonal in yellow. So this is what he did right here. This is what he did. Okay, he shaded those in. He colored those in. Finish Danny's, uh, Danny's pattern of even uh, numbers color the squares. So he went from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. What's after that? 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20, right? And that's what he has right here. This is what he has right here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So there is a pattern of adding how many each time? I'm adding how, how many each time? Wait a minute, so one, so two plus one, is that four? No. So I'm adding how much each time? Two. Two. Okay. So when you add two to an even number, the sum is an, what kind of number? Odd or even? Even. So I said start with the green. So now we're... We're starting with the green now, so I'll use green. Start with the green square, color the pattern of odd numbers on the downward diagonal in green. So they want you to do this diagonally like this. So I start with one, what comes next? Three, then five. Seven, nine, seven, nine, eleven. What comes next? Thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, and then nineteen at the end. So, if I, the there is a pattern of adding how much, how many each time? Again, two. So when I add two to an odd number. The sum is going to be odd or even? Odd. So if I add 2 to an even number, the number is going to be even. If I add 2 to an odd number, the answer is going to be odd. Now look at example number 2. It says, uh, what pattern of numbers do you see in the diagonal uh, in the diagonal of yellow boxes. So here are all the yellow boxes right here. What pattern? They're all sevens. Every number is seven. Let's do this. Every number is seven. That's the pattern right there. Every number is seven. It says, look at the circled sum. So you're looking at this number right here. You see that seven in the circle? Yeah. Right there. From left and above the circle, look at the circled sum. From left and above to the circled atoms. So if I go straight up, I get where? Four. Four. If I go to the left, I get where? Three. I get three. Okay. So it says draw a triangle, draw a triangle around the sum in the addition table that has the same atoms. Well, that's this one right here. Okay. So what two numbers make seven? Three and four. Or what's the other way? Four and three. 
four, and three. And what property is that called? We learned that yesterday. Commutative, nice. Commutative property, very nice. The two number sentences is an example of commutative property. <laughs> Commutative property. Let's do this. Thank you. Now look at the uh, the guided practice. It says describe Dan's new pattern in the addition table below. Okay, when blank is added to a number, the sum is that number. Uh, so here's the pattern that he has. So what do I need to add to a number in order to get that same number? And that in the answer the uh, answer doesn't change. Wait, called commutative property. No, that looks I'm zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is is one, zero plus two is two. What am I adding each time? Zero. A zero. So when I, when a zero is added to a number, the sum is that number. It doesn't change. So that's, what kind of property is that called? Identity. Identity. Identity property. So it says when zero is added to a number, the sum is that number, meaning the sum does not change. Zero plus, plus a billion is still a billion. Zero plus Mr. Fortita still Mr. Fortita. So it says shade a diagonal of numbers blue that shows the sums that equal eight. So all the numbers that you add together equal eight, right? So what do you think of all the color? Uh, which, what am I going to be coloring? All what? All eight. All eight. Obviously, I don't have a color. I'm just going to circle them. But I need to do them blue. It says shade a diagonal of numbers green that shows a sum equal to five. So what am I going to color in? All, All what? Five. All fives. I don't have yellow, so I'm going to use black. Shaded row of numbers, uh, yellow, that represents the with one added of four. By the way, when, all, when one added of four, okay, meaning one of the digits, when I do this, like three plus. Okay, we all have to, one of them has to be four. So here's four, that means all of these right here. The, the, that represents sums with one added to four, that's these guys right here. Four. So sometimes you're gonna have to color over it, over some of the numbers that you colored already. And the shaded column of numbers with that represents the, the add-in of six. So Here's the addicts right here. I'm looking at these, at this row right here. And I want, I'm going to use red. It represents six, so I'm just coloring these right here. Body erasers so that we can see better. And then shape two square numbers that represent the sum of three and nine. It looks something like this. Three and nine. So you're doing all fives right here. You're doing all eights. All the sixes go going down this way. Okay. Each the the. 
3 plus 9 is 12. So I'm doing this right here. And here's another 12. The ones with the 4s goes here. It says shape two squares purple that represent the sum of twelve of three and nine. It says what property does it show? Commutative property. What that means is three plus nine or nine plus three, which is twelve, right? So that's these guys right here. Those two. Then it says circle circle two squares that each represent the sum of 0 plus 10. Okay, the sum of 0 and 10. What two properties show this? Well, it shows commutative property too. If I have 0 plus 10 or 10 plus 0, right? But it also shows what other property? Identity. Identity. So that's this 10 and this 10 in the corner. Because this one's 0 plus 10, this one's 10 plus 0. 